Hey, Brandon. Hey, Fabio. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I have a problem today. What is it? I'm not seeing as sharply, so I might have some issues looking at our EEGs. <laughs> Let's read our first EEG of the new year. You know why, though? Why? Because it's 2021 and not 2020 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a... You, you, you're very sensitive. Let's take a look at this. What do we have? So this is the first page. There's already a lot of abnormalities. Yeah. Yeah, you, I agree. It's not normal. It's not normal. What, what, do what, you, do we, what do you think? Well, yeah, I think we, so there's, there's, first of all, it's not, uh, I'm not sure what state this person is, but I'm going to, but I, I think there, uh, there's no posterior dominant rhythm. Probably the the background it's asymmetric, so the the something, you know, pathological is happening on the left, and on the right, but mostly on, more on the left. Right. Um, I'd say if we just had to describe the background, there's this, mm -hmm. you know, it's probably mostly delta slowing. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm guessing this is either an encephalopathic or a sort of not awake person. Um, and then the thing that really jumps out that I'm trying not to mention first, but I just can't resist <laughs> seeing it is the left-sided, um, looks like these epileptorn discharges, and I think they're occurring at regular, pretty regular intervals. So I would call them uh, periodic um, for the most part, although we have some criteria about that, that if we wanna be really strict, we could look at. So I, I'm noticing some of them, you know, happen in little trains of, you know, two or three, and then there's some that happen that are longer, mm -hmm. or that it may be, four or five or more in a row. So they are, they seem to be fluctuating a bit, right? They're kind of, they're not just continuously present. Right. Um, but yeah, this is a person who, so what, what do you, uh, without, don't tell me, you know, what, but, well, actually do tell me the age. Don't tell me what's wrong and then guess what's wrong. Okay. It's a 50 year old who had some seizures before he came in. Oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what just without, well, did you already look at the history? I hope you didn't. I did not. I just looked at okay. the I promise. What would you guess based on what we're seeing? What are you guessing is. So I think the, the most common, problems. right. I think the most common cause of LPD is in adults is ischemic stroke. So I would go with ischemic stroke. What if it was the uh, board exam though? What would you say then? Oh, yeah. yeah. I like those. I think they always ask for herpes encephalitis when there's LPDs on, on the right. Yeah. Let's pause on this page for a minute and maybe describe right. what you're seeing. And then let's see if we can describe it with the ACNS terminology just really carefully. Okay. That's a good idea because I need to run my report and it's going to help me out. Yeah. All right. So what so, do you, uh, how would you describe this? Yeah. So I think first off, we need to understand where they are. And you already mentioned it. And I think they're lateralized meaning they're coming from one hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And I feel like their face reversing or kissing right here in the left front to central region, F3C3 or even F3 right there. So yeah. I think it fits for lateralized, right? So we can use yeah. that big word letter first. Yep, so that's, so that's called main, main term number one, whether it's generalized versus lateralized or bilateral. Um, uh, or multifocal. So that's, that's main term number one. Okay. Um, the second, uh, and then the second term, what's the second term that you, you're going to put together this mm -hmm. long acronym. <laughs> We're building it second? from scratch. <laughs> yeah. I, so remind me to tell you about my favorite acronym at the end. Okay. But yeah. What's, what's the second. So the second one we already mentioned is these okay. are periodic discharges, right? So okay. the, the options we could, we had there were, there was, periodic discharges, um, there was, there's rhythmic delta activity if there are not, you know, discharges involved. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's this other kind of rare pattern called spike wave morphology. We, we see that in epilepsy patients, but we don't really see it much in critical care, but, um, but it can occur. Um, okay. And any of those, you know, terms, the rhythmic delta, the multi or the uh, spike wave or the uh, rhythmic delta, they can be either lateralized or generalized. Okay, gotcha. So, so okay. far we've got, uh, um, we have lateralized uh, periodic discharges. And, mm -hmm. and what's the next thing we need? Um, I think we have the 
the major modifiers first. And the first one, I think the, mo oh. the first one I think about is frequency because it matters yeah. so much. Right, right. So right. what's the frequency here? So I think, for example, here it's one hertz. So it's one in each second box there. But then yeah. sometimes it's two hertz, maybe right here, one over there, one right here. So I think it's yeah. one to two hertz, maybe, on mm -hmm. this page. I would say it, it fluctuates a bit, right? It's not consistently mm -hmm. speeding up or slowing down. It's just kind of switching back and forth. Mm -hmm. So this would be fluctuation um, based on frequency, changing, flipping, flipping you know, between frequencies instead of staying absolutely you know, metronomic. There, you can also use that term fluctuating if it was if it changes morphology kind of back and forth mm. or um, spreads kind of into and out of a region. Mm -hmm. What's what would we call it if it was actually systematically changing in frequency morphology or spatial location? Right. I think we covered that on the last episode and I'm actually that's actually confusing to me. So I wanted to ask you that. So I'm glad you brought it up. So I have issues understanding what's the difference between evolving and fluctuating. I know that each of them looks at three three variables, and those are the morphology, the location or spread, and frequency. But how can I tell if they're evolving or fluctuating? Yeah, well, there's two answers to that. One is you can look at the definition in the ACNS criteria and do your best to apply it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, but the and the general idea, right, without uh, going into the complete details is just is the general idea is that it, it's fluctuating means it's going back and forth rather than consistently you know progressing mm -hmm. but um whereas uh, evolving means that it's you know maybe getting faster and faster right mm -hmm. or or it's getting more and more widespread um uh or its shape is progressively changing maybe from blunt to very very sharp or something mm -hmm. something like that right it's a consistent change gotcha. but the other answer is that uh if you feel like it's difficult, you're mm -hmm. in good company because <laughs> this is one of the terms that doesn't mm -hmm. have, you know, perfect, well, doesn't have really, really excellent uh, iterator agreement. So ones that we've seen, the duration is variable. So that's how mm -hmm. long, you know, a sort of a consecutive run of things lasts. And um, uh -huh. so, I mean, in this case, there, there's maybe a little bit of judgment to decide whether we call this what we're seeing on the page, you know, uh -huh one thing or two things because it looks like maybe it's potentially interrupted there in the mm -hmm. middle third but i would mm -hmm. i think it looks like a it's trying to be continuous to me so I, I would call that let's see yeah i would call this a one so one two three four five six seven probably eight second long run uh -huh. and then it's interrupted and then starts again there's two more okay but so that would be um what's the term for that is that brief very brief to brief maybe yeah so we've kind of standardized the terms brief and very brief. And so it's also fine to just say, well, you know, these um, runs of LPDs lasted between two to, you know, uh, 12 seconds or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, okay. Sometimes if they're very long, right? So sometimes they'll go on for hours. And then mm -hmm. uh, what's the term for that? Focal status? <laughs> well, if it was seizure activity, yes. But if it was LPDs going on for uh, a few hours, what's the extreme of duration? Uh, very long. Very long, yeah. It would be very long runs of, uh, you know, one to two hertz LPDs, for gotcha. example, we could say. Okay, okay, cool. But these And these are fluctuating, yeah. Right. So, and then what else could we, uh, are, is there, are there, uh, what other terms can we, we oh, can sorry. Remember. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. So we, we yeah. had duration. What's we mm -hmm. also have um, prevalence. Right. What's that? So, so let's say we're reading an eight hour, you know, epoch, uh -huh. Uh -huh. doing our morning report. And so for that epoch, what would be the prevalence? Uh, is it you try to guesstimate the percentage of their prevalence on that particular epoch? Well, if you're, um, you know, if you're a, an attending physician, then you guesstimate. And if you're a fellow, then you have to count um, all the seconds. <laughs> Oops, I haven't done that since the start. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. You're, you're in trouble. <laughs> Fair. Okay, so we don't know yet because we haven't looked at the whole thing. Yeah. So we'll skip that for now. Should we talk about my, 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 my <laughs> guess from what we've seen, though, is that these are you know they're on they're essentially on every page we're seeing so let's let's assume True. that they're 
say 80 percent so if that's true if that turns out to be true what's the prevalence it's abundant abundant yeah okay i actually started using those in my uh, daily life and personal life as well you know <laughs> kind of frequent something or abundant or occasional you're, you know talking about uh you know like the need for never mind <laughs> all right anything you can think of anything yeah. <laughs> all right so should we talk about amplitude and the number of faces too? Please. Okay. So let's take a look at this guy here. Uh, so maybe 150 to 200 microvolts. Looks right. Yep. Yeah. How so about what that? Be? What's that? What would that be in our in our chart? You tell me. I think high, right? High. Yeah. High. Okay. Because it's greater than 150 microvolts. Yep. And cool. what's the morphology? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Um, we have two I, terms that sort of describe the morphology. One is how sh how sharp or spiky it is. So mm -hmm. what's and then we also have the number of phases. Right. I think these guys are sharp. Yeah, right. I think you're right. What's yeah. what does that mean? It means 70 to 200 microseconds. And, and then how many phases does this have? Right. So phases is the number of times where it crosses the midline, right? Crosses the baseline? Yeah. Yeah. So one there, two, so two or three if we're counting that last one right there? Yeah, I, I, I would probably not count that last one, but maybe, okay. maybe you two? could argue. Yeah, I think this looks like a biphasic uh, okay. discharge. Cool, okay, so we have two there. My favorite one was um, we had a case that was described as sea law lurtimus. So it was uh, part of that is made up by um, you know, just internally at, um, at our at Mass General. But we, we stimulus induced um, left anterior uh, lateralized rhythmic delta activity plus multifocal sharps. Sea law lurtimus. <laughs> and the, the, everybody knew what it was. That was, that was the interesting thing. There were, uh -huh. you know, three or four different teams uh -huh. taking care of the patient and everybody knew the patient had sea <laughs> lurtimus. <laughs> That's hilarious. Including That's the, the consulting services. They oh, really? would write about it in their notes. Uh, sea lurtimus, still <laughs> ongoing. <laughs> That's the EEG vocabulary. We have our own. Yeah, that maybe is going a little too far. Yeah. We have some <laughs> colleagues who aren't a fan of that, so we have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> it shows its value. Awesome. There's a lot of learning with this EEG. I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, really cool. let's get your report written and uh, read I some will. more EEGs. I will. I'll see you uh, tomorrow, probably. All right. All right. Thanks, Brandon. Happy New Year. See you. You too. Bye. Bye.